let's queer up gay culture. Anti-LGBTQ plus book protest backfires as library sees flood of book donations. Adrian Peterson, the manager of the Rancho Peñaquitos branch of the San Diego Public Library, has been running the library since about 2012. She has highlighted books for Pride Month for the better part of a decade and was taken aback when she read an email last month from two neighborhood residents. They informed her that they had gotten nearly all the books in the Pride display checked out and would not return them unless the library permanently removed what they considered inappropriate content. Ms. Peterson said she began to wonder if she had been misunderstanding the community for so long. But soon she got the answers when stacks of Amazon boxes containing new copies of the books the protesters checked out started to arrive at the library after the San Diego Union Tribune reported on the protests. Roughly 180 people, mostly San Diegans, gave more than $15,000 to the library system, which after a city match will provide over $30,000 toward more LGBTQ plus themed materials and programming, including an expansion of the system's already popular drag queen story hours. The city council member who represents Rancho Peñaquitos, uh, Marnie Von Wilpert, condemned the library protest against Pride Books and asked the community to help restore the display. I'm so happy I get a happy story today, right? Like, this story gave me life, okay? When you think that it's all going to go bad, Ms. Peterson, it didn't. And you are an incredible, incredible head of that library. Thank you for all that you did. $30,000 towards that. That's incredible. I'm going to send you two of my favorite books, okay? Dos Chicas Que Se Quieren, and the other book that I really love that is called Some Girls Do. Uh, that's great. I mean, <laughs> I, I love these kind of feel-good stories where someone's attempt at harming our community backfires on them. Mm -hmm. And it just the goes to... effect. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Well, it just goes to show that these rare voices, because they're not the majority, um are being overtaken by those that are in the majority. Mm -hmm. um, and this just warms my heart, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. in your face, neighbors. <laughs> and, and I see it a little differently. I see this as a terrible story that fortunately has a happy ending. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is essentially theft. I don't know how much, yeah. the bo how much books were stolen, possibly grand theft, that they came in and just took the books and, and essentially held gay culture hostage. Yeah. Seriously, I hope these people are brought into court, either by small claims or or whatever, because this is terrible. They are essentially doing, Florida, it only takes one parent for a, a school library to investigate a book. These people are just eliminating the school board middleman and Karen number one and Karen number two are just going in there and taking them for themselves, disregarding any attempt that um, there might be a plurality in this country or people who think differently and should be allowed to express that. Right. And these people thought that they were so funny and cute that they were going to stick it to the library system <laughs> and check out these books and not return them. You know, and look what happened in reverse. You know? Don't mess with the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll get a bill for all of those we, books we, if they we, don't. I'm a little Dewey right now. Uh, in, the, in the conversation about the Karen effect, but that isn't that exactly uh, what What's we're happening? watching. Two women uh, make a decision that we are going to commandeer what the entire general public thinks. The library system of San Diego County, uh, all of the people that are celebrating um, Pride Month, and those that would like to check out a book, uh, perhaps an ally, perhaps somebody that is not a supporter of LGBT but wants to learn more about our community. You deny them the opportunity. That is mm -hmm. the classic Webster's Dictionary when you open it of Karen and you see the two names <laughs> that did this. <laughs> My only regret is that we don't know the two names because right. I assure you I would yeah. say them out loud mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> One other um, thing that I think is wonderful about this raised 15,000, all of these people that came in matched by uh, the county uh, to do it. It's true, apparently, and uh, that uh, Tucker Carlson of what he said about us is true. He called us a virus, and now I'm going to agree with Tucker. Yes. We're just like a virus. And you can't We're kill us. And you can't kill the <laughs> virus. You right. just can't, Tucker. Yeah. And by the way, where are you? <laughs> he misses you. Where in the world? He misses you. <laughs> We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from 
Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.